Jared Polin. Fro knows photo.com. And if my predictions and corrections and mental state is correct, then this will be the 400th video being uploaded to my channel. Well, the 400th live video. So, yay for us. Um, photo of the week here. You don't get to see it yet, but I'm going to give you some background on this photo. So, it is from my first year in college, which means I was shooting film, black and white, processing myself, developing myself, dodging and burning, doing all of the same things that I would, well, almost the same things that you could do now, except doing them the old-fashioned way, in the darkroom, processing my own negatives. I don't know what speed film I was shooting. Well, it was probably 400 speed film. I don't remember which film it was. I could go look at the negatives, but I'd have to dig them out. So... Why don't we just look at the photo? Here you go. So here is this photo. They are two girls. They're twins. And I was at where I, I went to a Montessori school as a kid. And my mom so happened to teach there later on. And I went and I photographed these kids just, just for a day. Because I always needed something else to shoot. So I got out and did this. And... So they had twins, and I was like, go stand against the wall, and I shot at a distance. I probably was using the 80-200 to 2.8. That was my go-to lens at the time. And so when I shot it, you could see, you know, look at this. This is actually here. What you're looking at is a scan of a print. I didn't scan the negatives then. We scanned the prints into the computer a little later on. Uh, and I also printed this full frame. That's why you see part of the negative carryover here, some some black. I like to print full frame back in school to show people that I didn't crop even back then. It was a ground out negative file. You would see the sprocket holes around it showing you that you used the whole frame. So that's that was something cool that I used to do. But this captured a really cool moment. And, you know, it was overexposed at spots. I had to do some burning. And what that means is the, you can see there's no detail here in the shirt in, in her jacket. There's some detail in the shirt here, but this is all burned in. This area that I am circling around, I literally had to block everything else to burn this area in because I needed to get some more detail in there. Same thing over here. I had to burn the area in just like you would do with your dodge and burning tool. Now I literally had to do it with my hands. And, and, you know, I would do, you would do things like this, which would block a lot of it, and you would keep your hands moving so there wouldn't be any sharp lines when you were processing because you didn't want sharp lines because that means you didn't move. If you didn't move, then you would get, you know, you would, you'd be able to tell that you were dodging and burning. In this case, you couldn't really tell that I was dodging and burning because I did it in such a way that, you know, I either used a tool where I, I took cardboard and I cut out just a spot and I used that to gently let the light burn back in but I printed thick back in the day I would overdevelop my negatives to get thicker blacks I would up my contrast using uh, contrast filters it's kind of you know I call them well I didn't call them boom filters yet that would have been uh 12 years too early to go boom filters let's make this picture go boom but yeah I still made the pictures go boom back in the day just by using over developing my negatives to give them a thick you know let them cook longer basically i say let them cook longer so the negatives would be nice and thick and dark and then i could um process by using my three and a half filters three and a half to four filters those were we would put these in the enlarger they were color they were these filters excuse me that brought in more contrast or you could do it less contrast of course i always went to the boomier side with more contrast and this is what i got so this is you know i wanted to go way back i wanted to show stuff from back in the day back in college and this is this is solid in my mind i, I didn't shoot that many pictures what I, I would shoot a roll out here so you had 36 frames to get it right and we didn't overshoot back then or at least i didn't overshoot back then in motor drive because there was no need to do it through this but this was really no direction. Just go over there. Let me capture what I'm going to capture. Focus in on the eyes. Twins. Twins make for interesting pictures. Now, there's been a lot of interesting comments over the years about this photo, whether it was like a World War II type photo or not. But, you know, what do you think? What do you guys think about this photo? Uh, coming from a negative, any questions you have? Leave some comments below, and I will try to answer them about processing with the film and, and whatever questions or answers I couldn't come up with here. Let me know what you think. Let me know 
if you've ever done this process film, use the boomification of the filters. Who knows? Leave some questions. You got them, ask them. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible on the YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, that's a great way to be notified as soon as a video goes up. You get notification. And then make sure that you click the links in the YouTube video to send you back to the Frono's photo webpage because we do a lot more over there than we do on YouTube. So be sure to do that. Like this video, comment this video, pass it around, do whatever you want. Jared Poland, Fro knows photo.com see ya